also do some conversion training on it, uh, which is obviously a good idea. I just, there's every chance that I might pull out because um, it's just some really weird vibes. Um, not really weird vibes, just the dude's like, oh yeah, um, he's bought the plane and he lives in the Northern Territory, which is another state in Australia. Um, so he's bought this aeroplane and um, he's going to fly it back. I think he's here with someone, I don't know who. Um, but he's never flown the aeroplane. He's never actually seen it either. This is the first time he's seen it. So today he's having a good look over it. Um, but the weird champ thing is that the owner that sold it to him um, was going to be there to give him a tour of it. Um, but the owner um, caught COVID and apparently he's been quite sick with COVID. Um, and so when I called this guy yesterday, I was like, oh, hey, man. Yeah, 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 just tell me what you... And he's like, oh, yeah, it's this you know, Zenith thing with a Jabiru engine. I'm like, oh, that's fine. I'm very, very, very familiar with Jabiru. So I've, like, literally test-flown for Jabiru, the, the, the company. Um, I'll be okay. Uh, look, what do you need? Do you want me to come have a look over the aeroplane with you, make sure it's good, like, um, and then get you flying? He's like, oh, no, nah, we're going to have a look over it now. I'm like, okay, um, we're going to have a look over it. And I'm like, all right, um... And he's like, yeah, yeah, so the, the owner's going to come, um, but I'm just not going to be able to fly with him. Uh, and I'm like, sorry, what? He's like, yeah, yeah, no, the owner's going to come down. It's just, you know, I just didn't want to sit in the aeroplane with him while he has COVID, but I think he's going to come to the hangar and walk me around the aeroplane. And I'm like, um, you do know you don't need to, like, in my head, I'm like, you do know you don't need to be sitting beside someone in an aeroplane to catch fucking COVID. You're going to be touching the same aeroplane, all of these other things. Like, you're going to be touching it and doing this, and he's going to touch a control, and you're going to touch a control. And I'm like, I am, I, I can't afford to get it, because if I get it here, I have to sit out for a week or two um, while I'm sick, and I can't work. And that costs these people money, because I'm staying in their, like, Airbnb. Um, and I'm like, oh, look, as a suggestion, like, I'm very, very, very familiar with Jabiru engines. Uh, and, uh, you know, I am, I am an engineer, so, like, what if you just talk to him on the phone and he walks you through things about the aeroplane? But the other thing is, is they're planning on just spending two days jumping in the aeroplane and then flying across Australia in it, and, um, that's not my risk profile is the nicest way of putting it. Um, so they want to, they want to look at it today, do some conversion training tomorrow, and then leave on Friday, and it's like, oh, dude, I don't think you understand what you're doing at all. Um, he, he has to fly through remote designated areas, um, which means the aircraft needs to be set up for that, which means he needs to carry fuel, he needs to carry water, he needs to have an EPIRB, and there's all these other things that you have to actually do uh, unless you're following a highway. Um, and that's the only stipulation you can get around is if you're flying within two, to, two nautical miles of a major um, um, highway. Uh, but um, even then, uh, we're in the Northern Territory, I don't know, but um, he sounds like he's pressured to move when realistically you should look over the aeroplane, go learn to fly it, bring it back down, look over the aeroplane again, go fly it another few times, look at the weather window and go. Um, not just do a 2,000 nautical mile flight after looking at an aeroplane for a day doing two flights with an instructor and saying, yeah, I'm good to go to fly the thing. Um, so, yeah, there's every chance I might just pull out and be like, nah, man, go get someone else, hey. One, if, if he lies, if it, it, I need to ask him when he calls me tonight if he's like, oh, yeah, nah, he did end up coming down. I'm just going to say, nah, man, I'm not, I'm not even in. Because, um, like, from my perspective, that means I lose an entire week's worth of pay, like to go out there and charge this guy 